What's up, everybody? Welcome to a DC Universe Online Let's Play. I'm Greg Miller, and you might be saying, Greg, why are we doing a DC Universe Online Let's Play? I follow you on Twitter. I know you're like 500 hours into this game, literally. That's not exaggerating. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, armories have finally come to DC Universe Online, giving you a number of new benefits, and I thought I would go through it with you. So if you see, you pop it open there, right there, your journal, your armor. Yeah, gosh darn it. Right at the top of your list. A brand new mission. Let's see what Oracle has to say about it. Nothing. You got me my free armory. Uh, I use the armory in my inventory. Of course, to use it, I'm going to have to go to my hideout. My little my little safe spot there. Go like this. Bam. I've added it. Collect this. I don't want it to your base. I'm sure you know, yeah, of course. Uh, you can see what I'm doing ahead of time. The cool thing about these armories, right? Let us warp to base. The cool thing about armories is the fact we're warping to Nashville. See, I'm Taylor Swift in this game. Call my base Nashville. My home base. Uh, armories now are going to allow you basically to save costumes, settings, and outfits on the fly. If that sounds stupid, it isn't. I mean, aside from the fact that, like, cool, you know, it's nice that I'll be able to change my crazy ass outfit whenever I want to, the real draw to the armory, right, is the fact that I can now switch from DPS to controller on the fly. I can, and I, doesn't, I don't have to run away and do a million things. So let's just get to, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up basically is what I'm saying. Get through this now. There's my armory. Boom. Put it down. There. Place. Eh, oh, eh, what? Eh. What to, what to have? Okay, there you go. So, now let's exit this stupid thing. Oh, let's exit. Cancel. There we go. Oh, also, yeah, my art, my base looks like crap. If you are working for DC Universe Online or you play a lot of DC Universe Online, I personally feel the bases are, like, nonsense. They don't really help me do anything with the exception of the dispensers now. They give me equipment and item mods. Whatever. But I've never really hung out here or had much reason to as a single-player person, as a PvE kind of guy. But if we jump in here, we're looking at armory. See, now, this is what an armory does. It's your current styles, equipment, loadout, skill. Basically, you don't have to, like... Waste 15 minutes respecting your character. So I'm gonna imprint. Show you on imprint your current styles. Yeah, of course, bam, done. There you go. So I can rename this now. Pop in here. We're gonna rename it, of course. Whoa, this is my work PS3. Everything's different here. Hold on, or PS4. God, I'm so stupid. So anyway, this is my DPS. This is my DPS Taylor. Boom. Okay, done. Yeah, great. I can change the icon too, huh? Replace your current style. What? Wait. Current? Yeah, great. And then replace your current style of skill points. Waste below. What? I don't think. Oh. Oh, I get to set. Oh, see. And then I get to set my open. Again, I'm doing this for the first time, too. This just came out today. I know this is probably posting uh, the, the day after it's already out. I'm going to do whatever. DPS. There you go. But, like, you know, there's a bunch of different ones, right? So if you, this was the, if you imprinted here and you used your version of your character that used guns, right? Like, you know a million different powers, but you, like, this one gun you can have here and have it all set up like that, whatever. Well, so you get the free. Oh man, that's awesome! It looks like you know Batman's armory, right? That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Now the thing I'll tell you, I'll be frank with you. Oh, maybe I have to get a dispenser. I don't know. I in battle, I know when you're out in the world, you can call that into play. You can be like, all right, now I need to switch to. You know, I need to switch to that set power set. I need to switch to that set, but I don't know how you do that. How do you call down that ability, right? It's got to be. Somewhere and go to base. No, current. Maybe it's in my dispenser over here. Let's see. Again, you're learning with me. I don't need your. I don't need your crap. Sure. I could have jumped. I could have looked at somebody else's let's play. I'm sure before I jumped in here. But I got so excited. I just wanted to play DC Universe Online at work. Number one. But number two, show you this as fast as possible. Which I guess in the long run isn't that fast. Hold on. So let's figure that out then. Because I, I, the whole deal I thought was that you could drop it when you're in battle, right? So activate, replace current skill. So like that would be like, yeah, I want to put this one on. I should want to replace your current. Yeah, okay, done. Hmm. Ooh, that's cool looking. That's cool. I like that. Let me look through all my menus, though, because I thought you could call this thing in whenever you wanted to. Maybe it's over. Do I have to power something up here? Mission. to figure that out. We're going to have to look at that. Anyways, though. So you, you get the one for free, right? Which is great, kind of. Think it through, right? If I'm out in my controller gear I've packed, right? 
and then I want to switch to being DPS, I could switch to DPS, but I would lose all my controller gear. This is where DC Universe Online gets you. You want two armories if you're trying to run two rolls, right? So now you want to pop in here, go all the way over to Marketplace. What the hell did I just activate? I didn't mean to activate anything. I'm going to have to check that out. I screwed that up. And then here, you can go in here, you can buy the armory, right? Now I just need one, but I know that they do a bunch of different ones, you know? Damn it, I need more stupid Marketplace cash, dude. Oh, it's already sent. Uh, nobody look at my password if I have to put my password up. No, I thought, hold on a second. Base items, armory. Ah, so you can get different armories here. I just need one more. I, I, I guess I could go crazy. Well, if you did four. No, I don't, I'm not going crazy. I'm just going to buy the one. But I need to get some marketplace cash here. So as we do this, we're going to just chill out here and talk. So how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Good to talk to you. We might have to black out this part of the screen, I bet. Uh, No, confirm the purchase. Great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. PlayStation 4, working well. Ah, gosh darn it, I do have to shut. Okay, everybody. Everybody look away. Hold on. Pausing. All right, you voyeurs. See, now it's done, right? I bought it. I got, I've got. i got the extra money. Perfect. Now I can go up to featured again. Oh, I'm already, I can go back down to base items, however you want to get to it. Pop over. Now, you see, I'm doubting myself, right? Because... The cool thing about the armories is, is that I could just switch Taylor's outfits on the go. I could have, if I buy eight armories and have them all set up, I could just have Taylor Swift looking different. But just for this, just for what we're doing right here, I'm going to buy it. Just, I'll shut up. I'm going to buy it right now. There you go. Great. Great. Hop out of this. Jump back to inventory. Activate number two. Now, first off, also, what did I switch? I heard her do a little celebratory thing, like I switched one of her items here. Make sure. I'm not going to screw this up. Oh, I, you know what? I don't have to worry about that, actually. Hold on. Yep, equip, great, come over here. Maybe I did switch out a thing. Doesn't matter anymore. I don't have to worry about it. What did I switch out? Activate. Poof. Move a different outfit. Now, this is interesting for me, the ability to do this, because since it was such a pain in the butt to run around, change your junk, you know, oh, and I don't want to be controller, and I'm going to be... I just, I just never was a controller. Never bothered doing it. Didn't have the time. Didn't care. So now I'm kind of excited that I can actually switch out the controller to start, you know... Helping people out when they need help out. Now I immediately regret where I put this. Because I need them. I want them side by side, man. I want all my outfits together. What if I put it here? Oh. Rotate it. Oh, wow. Okay. Can I? How do I? Like to, I want to zoom out. I have one out of four armories placed. What does that even mean? Placed it. Great. That looks no, nah, that's not too shabs. All right, so cancel this now. Great, we got a thing here. So, like I said, Taylor Swift currently equipped for damage per second. Now though, I can switch her out and do what I've never done before and become controller Taylor Swift. So I'm not wrong about that, right? So yeah, okay. See, I got all those mods. Ooh, I never modded this out. This means I'm stupid. I can mod her out here, and this, of course, would raise. Her overall combat rating. Mm, mm. Now, Greg, you're, you're probably saying, Greg, you're, you're screwing stuff up here. You're not. You're not. You're not doing the best stuff. Not really caring. This isn't me trying to do the. Oh, hold on. Let's uh, so we can show a little bit differently. I know. I know. I'm probably not doing right. This is stuff. I'm like I said. I don't. I don't really ever go out there and troll. I'm not a troller. I'm. A, I'm a DPS guy. So I'm. I'm fooling around with it. Um, right now, just for the sake of showing you and myself, honestly. A little bit of how it works. I like that. See, why is it? Like, maybe it's not. Yeah. I like that pink, but that's like. Why does the chest look so, like, washed out pink? Whatever. Okay, let's do that for now. Again, screwing around, Greg. Don't worry so much. There we go. So now that's my controller, my controller, Taylor. So I'll jump in here. I'll go imprint. Boom. There you go. Change the icon. Again, how do I. Alright, so we've got it there. I'm putting that for some reason as a controller. So now I've got two Taylor Swifts. Controller Taylor Swift, awesome. DPS Taylor Swift, or classic Taylor Swift, as I say, as I call her. Big old classic T Swizz. Now here's something interesting though. So I've done that. Oh no, no, don't shoot up the joint. I want to know: Are my items like the items? Yeah, mm hmm, hmm. Interesting. So the items I had in my inventory are still over here. So like I'm gonna have to re-imprint them without them there. Like I don't want to carry all this crap with me. In the same way, I don't want her carrying all my DPS crap with her. I'm gonna, of course, have to go back up there. So like, hold on. I'm gonna 
This is fun. I know this is, uh, if you're watched this far, you're a nerdy DC nerd like me. DC Universe Online nerd. So like that, right? And then what I'll have to do is go up to the watchtower, pop into my traits, reassign stuff that's actually building me up. Look at that, 66 skill points. I know I'm terrible. 500 hours in this game. That's all I got. Lay off me. I got a million jobs. But I'll have to go back, reset all these power points, and reassign them. Mm, this is fun. This is interesting. I like this a lot. My only question now remains, how the hell do I switch them on the fly? I did that. I thought I was supposed to be able to do it anywhere in the, in the, in the world, right? That if I want to go, okay, now I want to switch over, I can switch over. But I don't see it anywhere in my inventory, like a switcheroo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nothing there. Nothing here. Like You'd think there'd be basically a consumable that would say... When I hit it, I get to switch it. But I don't have that. Which is weird. Maybe I can't do it in my base? That doesn't make much sense, though, does it? I already checked that. I like this purple. This pink, this pink purple. I've been Taylor Swift black and red for a long time. With black and blue for a long time. There's really nothing in here, right? I didn't screw this up. Oh, I don't need sidekick. Sidekink? Sidekick update. And that's all crap I don't need. Hmm. How do I switch on the fly? Well, switching roll would switch that. So I should have done that, actually. I should have imprinted on that. But there's no, like, uh, basis. Interesting. Nor, recent text, group, league. It's not social, that's what I know. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No idea. Crap. This was so long. This is all going so well. Here's what we're going to do. All right. We're going to warp back the watchtower. And we'll see if, now that I'm in the watchtower, if I can figure out what's going on. Maybe up in the watchtower, because we'll be out of the base, it will give me some kind of, oh, here's how you uh, active. You switch roles on the fly with that poof of, that poof of smoke. So now I'm in the watchtower. And as you can see in my chat box there, I had to ask the league how to do it. So, first off, Daniel Lights the first responds by saying L2 and R2. Then Super Patriot says, did you not watch my video, sir? <laughs> no, I did not, but everybody should. Of course, Super Patriot is the guy who's been on IGN a few times talking about DC Universe Online. Uh, you can find his videos on YouTube at the Daddy's House. He's an expert. But, so we're going to hold left and right. Oh, look at there it is. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, God. And so, yeah, there you go. Switch to DPS. And I'm ready to DPS. Swi no cooldown. Back to my other, other bull. Hold on. No cooldown. Maybe there is a cooldown. Anyways, wait, why wouldn't it switch back? You're making me look stupid. There we go. That's awesome. Now you get to see a little bit of it. Uh, again, this is super brief, I know. And like I said, I'm sure Super Patriot has an amazing video up there. Um, all you need to do is go to these armories, get your armories up and running, set your skills. Now that I'm up here, obviously I'm going to go reset my skills on this build to be a controller. I will go back to my base then. I will then save that, and then there you go. I'll have a great controller build. I already have a great DPS build, and I'll be ready to rock and roll for anything anybody ever needs out of Taylor Swift. I do like this purple. See, this is what's going to happen now. Again, Greg Miller likes being DPS. He likes his Taylor Swift the way he knows his Taylor Swift. I'm going to end up buying more armories just to change the colors of her outfit. Because I'm a psychopath like that. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a quick look at the armories of DC Universe Online. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Make sure you play DC Universe Online because I love it so gosh darn much and it's free to play. For everything about video games, keep it here on IGN.